Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceful's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now it's a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it's really important that you take whatever resonates with you and you leave the rest of it aside. If however you do have any questions and you would like to inquire about having your own personal reading please do contact me at romancevilletarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to um, give you the different type of readings that I can offer you so I can assist you in finding the answers that you're searching for. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, we're going to begin this reading. Um, this reading here is a very emotional reading. It's a very sensitive reading. Um, this is a reading uh, for the sign, first of all, of Scorpio because um, I have channeled, before beginning this reading, I have channeled the um, your past loved ones that are in heaven so I could have some messages for you that they want to give you, okay? so. I've channeled before beginning so I have three messages here that are for the sign of Scorpio and I have one channeled message um, always for the sign of Scorpio but with your guardian angel. Now this is really about talking to heaven. It's your loved ones in heaven. They want to talk with you. They want to share their love. They want to um, they want to give you your reassurance to help you heal your grief. Um, this is really about offering you kind of like a healing tool if you want to to have uh, some conversations if you want with heaven or with the ones you know that you love that have passed so I've put myself into the middle to come and uh, transmit to you the messages that they have for you so with no further ado I'm going to turn the cards over and we're going to begin the reading I'm going to explain the messages to you so we have believe in yourself you can do it I have a new understanding and we have been together in dreams before I do give you the message for each of these cards I would like to mention that um, as I said in the beginning it's really important you know your loved ones who have passed best you know what kind of messages they're going to give you so you take whatever as I said resonates whatever gets to you emotionally whatever feels like your loved one is sending out to you then that is meant for you so let's begin we're gonna begin with believe in yourself you can do it from my heavenly vantage point I can see I can understand everything so much clearly now I can see that you and I never had anything to be afraid of the only thing that was ever standing in our way was fear fear about the future yet now I realize that you and I create our own future so I'm urging you to go forward with all of your heartfelt dreams you have to leave nothing to chance I believe in you because I love you, but also because I can see that nothing is stopping you unless you believe it is. I will be with you every step of the way. Moving over to our um, following message over here, it's going to be, I have a new understanding. Ironically. I understand life so much better now that I'm not physically alive. Of course, my soul, like yours and everyone else's, is very much alive. In fact, I've learned that nothing can harm our souls because they are God's handiwork. Oh, sure, our emotions and our psyches, they can get wounded, but those are really still part of the human ego, and so they can be healed with the right understanding. Basically, I've learned to have complete compassion for myself, for everyone and for the process of life. I wasted so much time judging myself and others, and I held back because of insecurities that had no foundation. And now I see that there is nothing to fear at all, because nothing bad can ever happen to you at a soul level. So please learn from my experiences, live your life with gusto, and live your life with joy. 
the following message. We have been together in dreams. When you're dreaming, I can more easily connect with you. And that's why you've seen and you've felt my presence while you sleep. Sometimes you fully remember our dream connections and other times you have a sense that we were together but without a clear memory. These experiences are very real and your soul is traveling while you dream and I meet you at a similar vibrational level where we can talk, we can share and we can heal together. These dream connections make me as happy as they do you. I'm also delighted to help you understand their meanings in our conversations. So this, my dear friend Scorpio, does conclude your channeled messages from your loved ones in heaven. I'm going to move over now to your um, message from your guardian angel. We have the angel of comfort. You've received this message today from your angel of comfort because they acknowledge that you've been experiencing a challenging time lately. Maybe you're, you know, feeling alone, you've lost a loved one. Are you having challenges with your work, your family? If the answer is yes to any of these questions, it's time to call in your angel of comfort. Your angel of comfort is going to comfort is going to support you. And don't feel that any challenge or issue that you are worrying about is too small for his assistance. All you need to focus is on that he is by your side at your times of need. Your angel of comfort wants to offer you a shoulder to cry on, a strong hand to hold and an ear to listen to your worries and your fears. And he will offer you strength. He will offer you comfort and he will offer you guidance to help you understand that in time you will heal. Your angel of comfort may even guide an earth angel into your life in your times of need. The earth angel could come in a form of a like-minded friend, a family member, or a work colleague who has experienced similar challenges in their life as you're currently experiencing. Sometimes getting back into that comfort zone can be as simple as sharing your experiences with another. Through talking about your issues with your angel of comfort or the angel, the earth angel, it may give you a fresh insight. Your angel of comfort will help you to return to your natural state of well-being. He will show you ways to help you release any of your past fears so that you will no longer return to your past state of discomfort. All you need to do is to trust and have faith that your angel of comfort has the knowledge that is required to assist you. Leave the why, the when, and the how up to him and he will take care of the rest. So that, my dear friend Scorpio, does conclude your reading with Talking to Heaven and your loved ones who have passed. I hope that um, this reading brought you some comfort. I hope it brought you um, some, um, some calmness, some understanding. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for any... Um, any readings that are going to be coming out. I do put one out every day. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um, I do wish you a fantastic day. I wish you much love, much courage, much strength. Thank you for being there. Thank you for listening. And um, I'll be seeing you very soon. Many blessings to you.